Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Media Snoop's Let's Play of The Sinking City Part 5. We just interrogated a man and we got something in the Mind Palace. Okay. Oh. So all of those clues got linked together into this one final... Into this, yeah. So we can we can change it, though. So we did a little bit of looking through the Mind Palace before the recording started. But... So if we combine this clue, it looks like we can change it. So if we say Lewis was aware of his actions, we get psychic influence or not. Lewis was out to murder Albert Throgmorton. He had a motive, too. The mutual hatred between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. I must tell Robert Throgmorton the truth and bring the murder to justice. Or we say he was mentally affected. I think... So we get to choose. Huh. If we say he was mentally affected, we say he was under mental influ influence. So he did kill him, but he couldn't control his actions and thus can't be blamed for Albert's death. So you can try and cover for him or else Robert Throgmorton will have his head. So it really comes oh down to... Do we think he was aware of what happened or no? I just don't like the idea of jumping to conclusions just because of this feud between the two families. I mean, there was a man floating above the bed that we could see. Like, Robert was yeah. floating above the bloody, the bloody bed. Albert. Albert, sorry. So, I... This, I this yeah, that doesn't... would be scary, but we were talking about how he wouldn't just let him escape either. But he pursued him. But was he, like, under that control during yeah, that Yeah, that's time? what I'm wondering. So I don't want to jump to the conclusion that he's doing this out of that family resentment and accuse somebody of murder when they might not have been able to control their actions. If he's being possessed or influenced by a force. Yeah. So it's the consensus. He was mentally affected? I, I don't know. I don't like the either-or decision. But yes, I don't like assuming when we don't actually have any evidence that he was effect. that it was on purpose. Yeah. All right, so we'll say he was mentally affected. So we got to find a way to cover for him. Can I talk to Please, you now that we've decided that? No. So we're going to go back to Daddy O. Anything cool inside of here? I guess we'll have to find a yeah, a way to just say because we don't want to throw Lewis under the bus. Because he will be killed. Pretty much. I, I don't think that's in question That's what right I'm now. saying. Like, I think the game wants you to assume, because of the family feud, that he just murdered him because he wanted to. But we've only seen one side of this feud. We've only seen the Throgmorton side. And it's yeah. very, like, heavily, you know, racist and anti Innsmouther. We don't really know the other side of that story. Like, how it's... Um, how they feel about the Throgmortons. Alright, this ought to be interesting. Hello, good day. The murderer is dead. The murderer is at the bar or goodbye. Oh, really? The murderer is dead. Sure. Yeah. I tracked the murderer down, but he was attacked by those things prowling the back alleys. And they tore him apart. It was that Innsmouther fisherman, Lewis. He was covered in your son's blood. That may have attracted the beasts. Are you certain the body is his? Beyond any doubt. All that's left of him is a heap of flesh and this scrap of cloth. It's from his jacket. I must ask his friends. Alas, Smooth. this was my right, that was pretty good. exact, not some wild beasts. Something must be done about those pests. Still, justice has been served. This isn't closure. But at least I know now the story. Thank you. At least I Mr. now know. Morton, Excuse I you. I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes. You've earned it. Kate to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't. Yeah, we're that good. Yes. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I'm trying to find the source of my visions. I'm investigating cases of insanity. The visions. You're yeah. all insane. We already know you're all insane. I... I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throgmorton. <clears throat> I see things. 
visions. And I needed to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or uh, I don't know. But I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. You're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Why a geological expedition or any link between visions and hysteria? I do think that geological expedition is interesting. I wonder... It doesn't seem like the first response. No, unless you kind of know something's going on. My first thought is, hey, people are going a little crazy. My first thought would be like, hey, water supply, food supply, tampering with, I don't know, the air. It wouldn't be know. like... Yeah. A geological expedition. I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness of the same source. As above, so below. Huh. So I sent men to find out. What's your reason? You think the flood is unnatural? Any discoveries? You think the flood is Yeah, I like one of the bottom two. You mentioned the flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened defied scientific explanation. Any link between visions and hysteria? Let's do any discoveries so far. Yeah, I agree. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? I'm going to assume he saw something that made him go cuckoo bananas. Yeah, I would agree. And then, I don't know, the others died? You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. If I was I'm about to say, to into this, at least give us money. To money. More. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. <laughs> wow. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert, when you finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. That man needs to be knocked down a peg or twelve. Yeah, I was about to say, you're a privileged little... Asshole. Uh, yeah. Let's talk money. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the park. <coughs> I'll also oh, excuse include me. a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Oh, wow. Revolver, ammo, antipsychotics, knowledge. Wow, that was a lot of Anti stuff. What did you just say? Antipsychotics. Isn't that what that said? Antiseptics? There you go. Something. Let's, let's take a, a gander. So completed cases, we got lots. So, gave me a key to the expedition headquarters in the northern cover side at the crossroad. And just information about the expedition. I want to see this manor. I I'm got curious. Where he lives, yeah. Just little... how privileged this family is. Oh, he's very. So we have a. We officially have an experience point. I just want to see what else we have. So there's the port, the bar. We checked everything over here. I don't think there's anything else that's of any interest to us. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, his... Okay. Where did he say? It was an old girl? Yeah, it's This that... is his. Yeah. That looks pretty big, just judging by the... Mm -hmm. uh, inventory. Okay, so we have a revolver and a pistol. Trusty six shooter, bolt model D, nicknamed the Widowmaker. So it's stronger, but its ammo takes two gunpowder. 
so it takes more gunpowder to make a single bullet. Gotcha. So it's one of those that's stronger, but if you miss, you're kind of mm -hmm. wasting. We got... Oh, and you did... Antipsychotics, yeah! Oh, you read it right. A shot of... I can read. Sorry. Take that, my third grade English teacher. <laughs> A shot of powerful antipsychotics to keep your mind clear when you need it. Ignore the side effects list. Okay. Oh, oh that's I like link. Side effects are good. Um, okay, so skills. What do we got here? Combat. So this has a bunch of traps. We don't have any traps yet, so that doesn't make sense. Keep an extra bullet loaded. Getting a chance to deal double damage with the pistol. Reload your gun faster. So this just basically increases our capacity with weapons. Vigor, carry more pistol rounds, revolver rounds, shotgun rounds. That just lets us carry more stuff. When close to death, slowly regenerate a limited amount of health for one last fighting chance. Your vitality increases, melee attacks. Stop it! We gotta figure out what we're doing. <laughs> okay, we'll do that off camera. I'll I'll take a gander. I'm just teasing, of course, but I'm. All right. I like the the involvement in the story. Let's go. Let's ro load our revolver just in case. I do want to check one thing before you get mad at me. Oh, good grief! Stop it. Okay. Twenty-one bullets. Hey, they're gone. Let's go further into this creepy city. Where should we go? I don't want to go... Like, in theory, we're supposed to go to the expedition headquarters. Yeah, well, we, know... we haven't been to our hotel either yet. Yeah, where is know. our hotel? I thought it was... Devil's Reef. So there's our hotel. So we can always... Go there, and then I'd say explore this area. Sure. Why not? Like, there's a there's a bunch of stuff there. Oh. Cutscene. Cutscene. Oh, well, here we go. <clears throat> okay. So actual us is still on the floor. I don't know if that's just supposed to be like we fell down and got back up, but or like is this like a... Yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay, oh. yeah, this is... Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was cool. I guess it just saved us the trouble of walking to the hotel? I was about to say, I think we just woke up in the hotel. That's Robert Thorne Morton funded an expedition to discover the origin of the mass hysteria gripping Oakmont. The expedition was to explore the seabed near Oakmont. Contact with the expedition was soon lost. Albert Throgmorton was the only known survivor. He was subsequently murdered. I was hired to find any other expedition members, dead or alive, Throgmorton will be waiting for my report at his manor in Southern Old Grove. So we gotta find stuff before we go visit him. Mm -hmm. That only makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> just show up. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we didn't find anything. We just came over for a cup of coffee. Wanted to chat, see how you're doing. Yeah. We, we don't want to indulge him in being an asshole, but we also don't want to piss him off, I don't think. So... True. Doors that can be opened are marked with a special hobo sign. Interesting. It's kind of a neat idea that we're playing through the game, but we're also going crazy. Yeah, we're definitely in the hotel. Take a quick look around. We've just got a, like a mattress and there's nothing. My diary. Don't know exactly what sank <clears throat> the Cyclops. Only remember the screams and the metal crack creaking. Water filling the deck. And my headache. The worst I've ever had. I found myself among the floating seaweed, drowning. A nearby piece of boat helped me survive and reach the shore of a small island. They found me on it later, starving, half mad, and babbling about the ancient ruins and their denizens. 
The official said none of what I thought I'd seen was real, but my memories are true. My strange powers gained after that ordeal prove it. I found something horrible on that island, something old and dark and slithering, and it oh, still haunts me. All right. Okay. Okay. There's my picture. Okay. Hey, this is the picture we Who saw earlier. Cyclops. Yeah, and then they Semper like turned Fortis into brothers. Semper Zombies. Fortis, rest in peace, or something like that. Sem what was it? Semper, Semper Fortis. Fortis. Yeah, I mean, I can quickly pull it up, but yeah, that what sounds is right. This? What does it say? What are you? See, I Never I predicted again, that Latin knowledge would come in handy. Latin always comes in handy, especially when you're dealing with games like this. Hey, we can change our outfit. Oh, the game has just changed immensely. I don't know if I... <laughs> okay. I, yeah. We um... need to unlock these. So we can get Newcomer and we can get a, a, a wind coat. That one's nice. It looks dapper. It does. It looks very dapper. Okay, can dapper. you go back to the picture quickly? Yep. I want to make sure I'm spelling it right. Crew of the Cyclops. Semper, Semper Fortis, Fortis Brothers. Means always strong. Interesting. Indeed. All right. Well, we will go out. Oh wow, this is. Oh, gross. That's a that's a toilet, all right. No. This is a horrible no. bathroom. I have a letter. Mister Reed, you were the rare example of a man who treated one of my kind humanely, and I feel I have to repay the debt to you. Take this as a friendly piece of advice. Run. Save your life and leave this dro city to the depths. Don't dig into its secrets, for they are not worth it. There's nothing good left here. I believe you can find a way to escape. Please heed my words, Lewis Flynn. Well, on that cheerful note, I think we're going to call it a day. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, we have another letter. Nope, we're going to leave you in suspense. Yeah? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us, and we will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.